Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial from the Reaper blog. In this video, I have five quick tips for improving your recording workflow in Reaper. Tip number one is to name your inputs and outputs. Go to the preferences under audio and input channel name aliasing remapping. You can see here I've got main output, headphones. You can change this to anything you like. And as well for the input, call it in one in two. This is my pre 73. You can name this after the preamps that you have connected. You can name this after the instrument that you're going to be recording if you use the same signal chain. And now when we go to our tracks inputs, we have the named inputs there. And in the outputs, we have the named outputs. The next tip is to assign your inputs quickly using the routing matrix. So I'm going to add a bunch of tracks. And let's go to view and routing matrix. And now, uh, if you've never seen this before, this is showing all of your inputs down here, all of your outputs back here, and tracks within the session here. So to assign track two to input two, we we'll click there, but we can just simply drag down diagonally and assign the inputs in order. So track 10 is receiving from input SPDIF coax two. Very simple, much quicker than assigning these individually. The next tip is to easily make a custom headphone mix for your musicians. So I'm going to select all the tracks, go to extensions, Cubus generator, making a new bus called headphones and going to hardware output three and four named headphones left and right. Pre-fader, post effects, and solo defeat, which means that this track cannot be turned off uh, by soloing another track. I'm gonna create Cubus. And now each of these tracks has a send with default value going to this track, which is then going out to my headphone amp. The next tip is to turn on the red recording length. I mean, go to extensions menu, SWS options, and red ruler while recording right here. Turning that on enables this to turn red whenever we're recording. With this, anyone can glance at the screen and know that you are indeed recording and no one needs to ask, did you record that? The next tip is easy overdubs. Uh, there's a few different options for recording modes. You can see in the options menu, these top three items, record mode normal, record mode time selection auto punch, and auto punch selected items. I've found that the best way to do overdubs is to make a time selection over the area I want to replace, set my mode to time selection auto punch, move the cursor back a little bit and hit record. It's going to play from here then it's going to record from here. And at the end of the recording, I hit stop and I can actually pull back the region and it's actually recorded from back here. To make this even easier, I've actually added two different buttons to my main toolbar, one for record mode normal and one for record mode time selection auto punch. It's very easy to see which mode I'm in and jump back and forth between as needed. That's it guys, five quick tips for recording workflow. Hope you can use this in your next session. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and visit reaperblog.net for tons more.